and to test the sanitizer, I'm going to turn it on and I capture it in a, in a sanitizer pail. And then I'm going to allow the foam to dissipate, or otherwise you get a false test. As you're filling up the sink, you're going to get a little bit of foam. The foam is due to the air gap system in our sink right. If you're going to test it with the tape and the foam, you're going to get a false reading because the foam holds quite a bit of the quad sanitizer. So this is the wrong way to test it. We're going to test the sanitizer. As you can see, this was just turned on. It's got a suds level still due to the air gap system. This sud has to dissipate. We filled this pail up with sanitizer to allow the suds to dissipate. We've also let this reach 75 degrees, which is a proper testing temperature. If it's too high or too low, it will give you a false reading. So at 75 degrees, approximately room temperature, test tape into the solution at a count of 10. Bring the tape out compared to the color chart. As you can tell, it's right at 200 parts per million, which makes it very legal. I'm going to recheck the sanitizer, make sure it's correct. As you notice, we've let the foam dissipate. We've let the solution come to room temperature as close to 75 degrees as possible. That'll make the tape read correctly. I'm going to place it in there for the 10 seconds. Compared to the color chart, and as you can see, it's now reading properly at 200 parts per million. Your QT44 test tape should be stored in your sanitizer test station. That's a proper place for it. You'll have a quick access to it. Um, the QT44 tape, the correct tape to use will say QT44. This is set to test this sanitizer correctly. If there's another type QT number on it, possibly will not read correctly. So make sure the QT44, which comes with the Santa Quad and the Super San type products inside the case is used. On your wall chart, if you'll notice, the 75 degrees, that's a proper testing temperature of the sanitizer. It needs to be at room temperature, close to 75 for the tape to read correctly. The range of parts per million is 150 to 400. In Canada, it's 200 parts per million.